A member of the Mormon Tabernacle Choir said she has resigned from the famed group over its decision to perform at next month's inauguration of President-elect Donald Trump. Jan Chamberlain posted a resignation letter to choir leaders on her Facebook page Thursday. In it, she writes that by performing at the Jan. 20 inaugural, the 360-member choir will appear to be endorsing tyranny and fascism. She says she feels betrayed by the choir's decision to take part. The choir is part of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Church spokesman Eric Hawkins told the Salt Lake Tribune that participation in the choir in the inaugural performance is voluntary. Hawkins said last week the choir's tradition of presidential performances is an implied support of party affiliations or politics but a demonstration of our support for freedom, civility and the peaceful transition of power. Quotation mark. Chamberlain's decision earned praise from one of the most powerful Mormons in the country. Nevada Senator. Harry Reid. The retiring Democrat said Friday in a statement to the Tribune that he admires people like Chamberlain who reject tyranny and fascism and do what they can to stand up for what is right. Quotation mark. Reid applauded her for refusing to be part of the wave of hatred unleashed by Donald Trump. Quotation mark. She should not be castigated or repudiated for acting on her sincere beliefs, Reid said. Chamberlain, who didn't respond to Tribune requests for interviews, wrote on Facebook that her decision was a more one. I could never throw roses to Hitler, she wrote. And I certainly could never sing for him. Quotation mark. If you like this video please leave a like and subscribe.